This is the exact framework that brought me in $766,000 in my first two years as a blogger. And this is the key to building a profitable blog. And I think you're gonna be really surprised by just how easy this is. If you're new here, hi, I'm Molly. I started as a college dropout with just 81 cents and I leveraged that into a six figure per year photography studio. Then I started sharing tips online for other photographers and I grew that to a $2 million per year business. And now I help content creators just like you to monetize your content so you can help your audience on a deeper level and make a full time living doing what you love. Okay, so let's go back to 2014. I'll paint the picture for you. I had my photo studio in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, small little town in Wisconsin. Things were going really well. I even had employees. We were doing like five to 10 photo shoots a week. The business was totally thriving. But if you know anything about me, you know that although I like photography, I love business. So I found myself at a point where I just couldn't figure out a way to grow the business further because I didn't have any more time to give. At the time I was doing everything. I was growing the business, doing the marketing, managing the employees, and most importantly, doing all of the photo shoots. At the same time, this is when blogs were really getting their big start. And I was seeing a lot of bloggers around the internet make a full time living with blogging. I was seeing recipe blogs, travel blogs, educational blogs. And so I kind of put all these three things together Together. I was like, I really want to grow my business more, but I don't have more time. These photographers want to learn how I'm getting all of these bookings. They want to learn my marketing secrets. And I'm seeing all these people making all this money with blogging. And so I thought, well, I'm already doing a blog for my photography business. It's really common for photographers to share like their top photos on their blog and tell a story about their clients. And it's just really good marketing to do blogging as a photographer. And so I thought, what if I created a separate blog just for photographers where I could share all of these educational tips with the masses. So even though I was super busy, I saw these bloggers being really successful and I knew that this was going to be worth my time. So I carved out just a few hours a week to put out one to two blog posts every single week. At this point, you're probably wondering, I don't understand how writing some blogs is going to make you multiple six figures per year. And you might be thinking you need tons and tons and tons of traffic to run like these little ads on your blog or get sponsors or things like that. And trust me, you do not need to do any of that. I'm going to share with you my three part framework that works great for blogging, but it also works for any other social platform too. So if you're like, oh, I used to be a blogger or I am a blogger, but I'm also on Instagram. I'm also on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. This framework will work for any content platform that you want to be on. So again, I started blogging one to two times per week and I started sharing stories about what was happening at the studio, things that were working, things that weren't working, funny client stories, keeping it anonymous, of course, and just really focusing on storytelling with elements of education that would actually get my readers results. And that's key. In my first year as a blogger, I made $254,000. And within my first two years as a blogger, I made $766,000. Okay, so let's jump into the framework so I can show you step by step exactly how I did this. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is choose a social platform to grow an audience on and share helpful information with. So for me, I had chose blogging back in 2014. And right now, if you couldn't tell, I have chosen YouTube. <laughs> so go ahead. It doesn't matter what platform you choose, although I would recommend a long form platform, something like blogging, YouTube, or podcasting, because then you're able to more easily distribute that content onto different channels. And because the content is long form, it allows you to go deeper with your audience, which is really important as well. Then what you want to do is create what's called a freebie. This is where someone puts in their name and email address to join your email list in exchange for you emailing them with something for free. This could be a free helpful PDF, a free audio file, a free video, free Canva template, whatever it is that aligns with your audience and we'll get them a quick win. So for example, if you go in the description below this video, I have a bunch of links for different freebies. So for example, one of the freebies I have is a funnel template that will help you move your followers to email subscribers. So you go below the description, click the link, put in your name, put in your email address, and an email will be instantly sent to your email address containing that funnel. Along with the funnel comes email scripts to deliver your freebie and a Canva template to actually create the freebie that you're going to deliver to your audience in exchange for them giving you their name and their email address. Once you have your following, what you're going to want to do then is start to survey your audience, listen to your audience, talk to your audience and find out what their number one pain point is, because that's what you're going to create.
create a digital product around. And this digital product will not be a freebie. This will be a digital product that you charge for. Something that you are going to solve a painful problem for them. And if they follow this digital product step by step, ideally they would get an amazing result. So again, grow a following, create a freebie to move your following to email subscribers, and then figure out what their number one pain point is so you can create a paid digital product to solve that pain point for them. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, how exactly did I apply this framework to my blog to make $766,000 in my first two years as a vlogger? Well, what I did was I blogged one to two times per week with really helpful free content. And within that blog post, I had different call to action buttons to download my different freebies. And I created about two to four different freebies that would match up with different content pillars that I was talking about. So for example, if I had a blog post about posing for photographers, then I would make sure that I had a freebie with more poses. That way it's related. I know that if someone's going to read the blog post about that certain subject, then they're really highly likely to want to download a freebie that has to do with that subject as well. So I kept blogging consistently one to two times per week. And, and as I drove more traffic and as I grew grew my blog followers more, as you can imagine, my email list grew more and more and more. And then per my framework, you can probably guess what I did next. What I did next was I really listened to my audience. I sent them surveys. I talked to them. I had beta Zoom groups where I really listened and learned about the painful problems that they were specifically having. And over and over and over, I had my audience telling me that they needed more bookings. They needed more clients. They wanted to make more money. And so I heard more bookings over and over and over again. And once you start to survey your audience and talk to your audience, you're going to notice a common thread like that as well. So now that I knew what their painful problem was, and I obviously knew how to solve it because I had already done it for my photo studio, then I decided to create a step-by-step ebook. -step e this ebook was called Model Call. I have since sold the IP of this educational material to another photographer because now I have this business, Freedom Creator, where I help content creators to monetize their content. But what I did to create that ebook Model Call was I didn't go ahead and say, oh, I'm going to teach photographers photographers my whole business model, or I'm going to teach photographers everything I know about marketing. No, what I did was I created an ebook sharing my number one marketing strategy step by step. We're talking screenshots of exactly what to do, scripts of exactly what to say, where to post, step by step, everything to do it. And I think a lot of people think an ebook is like a novel. It's like a book. It's like a Kindle book. That's not at all what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a digital info ebook. When I'm talking about a digital info ebook, I'm talking about something where you're just teaching somebody one thing step by step in a PDF format. So so my ebook was only 13 pages long and that included the cover page, the back page, the about section, and then step-by-step -step screenshots, scripts, everything that they needed to do to get this result as quickly and as easily as possible. Trust me, people will not pay more money because you made your ebook longer. In fact, they will pay more for that ebook if you can get them the result in a shorter amount of time and as easy as possible. One thing that I did with my blog was I waited to create a digital product until I had 5,000 email subscribers and I I would not recommend this. There was no reasoning behind why I did this. I just had it in my head that I needed 5,000 email subscribers to start selling a digital product. I would highly recommend creating and selling a digital product as soon as you can, because that way your following knows that you're a business and you have things for sale. If you wait until you have a bunch of subscribers and then you're like, oh, by the way, I have this thing for sale. People might be like, hey, I thought this was free. They might be confused. They might not realize that your plan was to grow an actual business. And obviously there's nothing wrong with making money and putting things for sale. In fact, it allows you to help your audience on a deeper level, but I do think it is really important to have that standard up front. And I definitely wish I wouldn't have waited so long. I could have been making money as I was growing my following, which is exactly what I want content creators to do. Don't wait until you have 10,000, 100,000, a million followers to start creating these digital products. You're only shooting yourself in the foot by not making sales as you grow your audience. And what happens when you don't make sales as you grow your audience? audience, you're not allowing your audience to purchase things from you to get help on a deeper level from you. Okay, so maybe you're ready to create your own digital product, but you're not sure which digital product to create. Check out the links in my description below. I actually have a link to a free PDF with 54 different types of digital products to really get your wheels turning so that you can figure out which digital product that you want to create. Okay, so once I had my digital product created, I put it for
for sale via a sales page slash checkout page. And I used a software back in the day that I wouldn't recommend now. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the software that I use now. So the software that I use now is called system.io. There's a link for a free account in the description below. This is not a free trial. This is a free account, which is way better. So you can have this account for free up to so many email subscribers, which is super cool. And it allows you to click by click, drag and drop super easily, create your own sales page and checkout pages so that you can sell your digital product to your followers. And what I did was I focused on building my following, moving them to email subscribers, and then using an automated series of emails to sell my digital products on autopilot. And I know this is where everyone talks about passive sales, sales in your sleep, sales while you're on vacation. Well, it's true. Once you have this set up, you can definitely do that. So of course it is work up front, but once you have it set up and you have your content working for you, you're building your following, you're building your email subscribers, you will start to get sales automatically. So that way, as you grow your following, you're also growing your sales. And so how I was able to make $766,000 in my first two years as a blogger was setting this all up. And then my job became posting more blogs, staying consistent because as I consistently grew my following, I consistently grew my sales. So let me know below this video. Do you have a digital product in mind that you want to create? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment and hit subscribe because I put out new videos like this one, one to two times every single week. And now that you know how I made $766,000 my first two years as a blogger, you might be wondering how I grew all of this to $8 million in sales to date. And if you wanna learn how I did that, go ahead and watch this video next here because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's gonna make way more sense. I'm super excited for you to check it out. See you in the next video.